To talk about more of the charges in the Blagojevich saga is criminal defense attorney Thomas Glasgow. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Uh, we saw in the, the trial, the last trial, that the prosecutors loaded up the case with many charges. Do we expect that to happen this time? We know Robert Blagojevich will not be tried, so they'll be focusing solely on Rob Blagojevich. But do you think we'll see as many charges? Because we know it didn't quite work out that way this time around for them. I think you'll probably see the same amount of charges with regard to the charges against Rod Bogoyevich. I think the difference is going to be that they're going to streamline this prosecution as opposed to the other prosecution. Discussions with jurors indicated that they had a complex and convoluted timeline mm -hmm. that really needs to be straightened out so that there is more of a simplistic approach by the prosecutor to show why Rod Bogoyevich violated the statutes that he is charged with violating. Do you think we'll see a longer trial and more uh, people called in to testify, or do we? Do you think we'll see pretty much the same length of time and pretty much the same same people? Well, I think that what's going to happen is the prosecutors in this particular situation ended up holding back a great deal of what they had, mm -hmm. and they held back a lot in rebuttal. In other words, to counteract the defense's case, because they felt. And as Rod Bogoyevich had told everybody in the face of the planet that he was going to testify. Mm -hmm. He turned around and didn't testify, and because he didn't testify, they didn't get to present some of the evidence that they had withheld, thinking that it would be more effective after they had cross-examined Mr. Bogoyevich. Now that they know that he may not testify and he may pull the same strategy mm -hmm. next time he steps up. Um, I think you will probably see many more witnesses, many more, much more evidence in this particular situation. So we could be seeing a longer trial. A much longer trial <laughs> is what I predict, yes. All right. Now, you are a criminal defense attorney, so let's say you're in a position where you have to now defend Rod Blagojevich. Mm -hmm. Do you take the same tack? Do you not put him on the stand? I mean, it, it almost seems as though they allowed Robert Blagojevich to make his case. So do you do the same thing this time around, or do you think they're going to be put in a position where they have to put Rod Blagojevich on the stand? Retrials are always tricky, and you know, retrials are tricky because you never want to take the same tack as you did the last time. Mm -hmm. The other side is looking at the transcripts. They know what you're going to say. They know how you're going to cross-examine. So you want to take a different angle on almost everything that you do, whether that is the order of the witnesses or how you present them or what questions you ask them or who you call. In this particular situation, I think what is going to happen is they are going to bring other witnesses out who didn't testify previously the prosecution and the defense is going to have to kind of shift gears and determine are we going to call some of these other witnesses are we going to be able to lay the foundation for these other witnesses uh, conversations with people without putting Rod Bogoyevich on the stand and those are some real big questions that only his defense team is going to be, a be mm. able to answer because whether Mr. Bogoyevich testifies or does not testify is ultimately his own decision. And we do know that this team is going to be much smaller than it was the first time around That's what, what was seven eight attorneys the first time around, and now that uh, Rob Lagojevich says he's broke, he's depending on taxpayer money, so he's only going to get two attorneys. So how much does that factor into how this case turns out or works out as far as uh, the defense? Well, it, there's, a, there's a big factor in that, and that is because you now only have two people to do the job that seven people had to do before. And divvying up the amount of evidence that has been presented and also divvying up the, uh, the things that they have to take into account is going to be just a monumental task. A monumental task, and even more so if he doesn't end up with the same attorneys that represented him the first time around, correct? Absolutely, because they have to relearn everything that was brought forth during the first case. All right, Thomas Glasgow, thanks for coming in and sharing your thoughts with us this morning. Thank you very much.